Hello, welcome back. Greg Diamond here, editor of 10 Stock Trader at Sandsbury Research. Welcome to another edition of Diamond's Edge. And this week, we're going to look at precious metals. Um, we're going to look at gold, silver, mining stocks, and then we're going to finish off with the dollar. Uh, so with the Federal Reserve announcing their interest rate policy this week, you know, these markets are obviously going to shift. Let's take a look at what that means um, for those markets. So I'm going to start with gold. And as you can see here, gold has uh, broken out to a, a new high here. And yeah, this is on a weekly chart. The RSI is a little bit oversold. You know, the composite, in, or I'm sorry, overbought. The composite index isn't showing much here. Um, you know, we can see from the low back in 2022, we've had a decent uptrend. You know, some volatility along the way. Um, you know, and then if you go back to 2019, 2020, you know, we had this huge run. Everyone thought gold was just going to absolutely explode higher with what the Federal Reserve was doing, what the U.S. government was doing. Uh, but it really just kind of traded sideways. Now, we're, we're seeing new highs. So from a bullish perspective, that's good. Uh, but we can't just look at one market within one sector and think that, you know, that this is all it's going to be. And in this case, you know, um, a big rally. Now, I'm not saying that that can't happen, but we have to look for other clues. So. You know, perhaps what we could see here, if um, if we see a short term high this week, you know, pull back uh, to test this breakout level, call it around twenty one hundred, or perhaps even you know to squeeze out um, or flush out some weak longs, we actually trade back below that resistance line, but into support here, you know, call it around two, uh, the two thousand level. All right, so there's a, there's various scenarios here where we could look to start buying here on a pullback. Now, why would I expect a pullback? And this is kind of why, and that has to do with silver, okay? When I see gold break out to new highs, here's a silver chart on a weekly. You know, you can see that it had a nice correlation with gold back going back to 2020, and silver hasn't, it's gone actually down um, to sideways while gold has rallied uh, higher. And obviously with this new breakout here, silver is not participating. Um, so that's a little bit of a concern for me in terms of, you know, everything being confirmed and then wanting to get aggressive with long calls. Um, so that's what that's what's making me say, you know what, I, I, I'm not comfortable getting short here either. So the, the the old saying is, you know, I'd rather be um, out of a trade wishing I was in it than in a trade wishing I was out of it. So if you got aggressively long silver while uh, gold was breaking out, you know, you're not um, as happy. Um so that's where you can kind of see where, you know, if we have this consolidation and silver continue, you know, silver could push back down to 21, maybe even 20. I've highlighted here, um, this is a uh, negative uh, reversal on the CI where this is um, trending down on price while this is pre uh, trending up on the indicator. You know, that could lead at just a minimum to a corrective move here in silver. You know, and if we come back down here into this support level, um, and then I'll I'll go back to gold. And if that happens on gold, you know, where we either come back down and retest or even have we have a, a big flush out in support, that is a, an opportunity where we can at least trade from the short top, um, excuse me, in the short term um, for uh, call options. OK, now let's also look at um, the mining stocks. And this is the um, gold bug index, which tracks those stocks. And as you can see, you know, this is in, this is trending down. So as gold and silver made new highs after COVID, all the gold stocks, not all of them, but this index that tracks most of the gold stocks have been trending lower. And as you can see, it's really struggling to break it above this resistance level. So once again, you know, maybe we have a flush out in gold and silver where those, those uh, trade low. And then we kind of have a, a pain trade, I would like to say where you know people may have been long uh and they're using this as a stop this could trigger those stops and then you get a reversal higher for another short-term trade that's something i would be looking for you know over the next few weeks maybe even a um, few months all right let's also look at the relative value between gold and silver okay and here's a chart let me pull it up for you um this is gold and silver on the same chart okay and this is going back uh, in the 70s, which a lot of people are comparing to today regarding inflation, uh, which makes sense because we haven't seen uh, inflation this high, this high in over 40 years. Okay, but look what's happened here: gold's here in the orange, silver's here in the blue. 
Uh, this is somewhat similar to what we saw. We saw this huge move up in both, okay? Silver topped out and this kind of been trading lower. And then look what happened with gold here, you know, in 1974, call it uh, early 75. It broke out to a new high at that time, new all time highs, okay? Um, and then, but silver didn't. So that was a warning in itself. We're seeing something similar now. I'm not saying that this is going to be the exact same, you know, chart. Um, but it could be where we we we, we drop. Uh, everyone thinks that you know this is going to keep going. Silver doesn't confirm, and then we trend lower, you know, and then um, you know call it into 1975, 70 or uh, excuse me, 2025, 27, 2026. You know, we get this huge explosion. That's something to think about on the long term. I've outlined I've outlined the short term stuff, uh, but I wanted to show you that ratio chart because I think it's important. Um, you know, if you're just going to be completely bullish, all right. So. Let's also look at the dollar, okay? And again, with the Federal Reserve uh, announcing their interest rate policy this week, the dollar is going to be important. And we can see going back to 2020, you know, we had the dollar and silver and gold rally all together. Um, so, and then, you know, now we have, we've had this divergence where, you know, gold topped out in 2022. I'm sorry, the dollar topped out in 2022, traded lower. And now it's kind of trading sideways. So, you know, I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, can gold and silver um, both break out? And we see that downtrend in gold mining stocks, that break out too, uh, while gold, while the dollar is actually going sideways. Well, if you follow this correlation from 2020, you would say yes. But once the dollar really kept rallying, you know, that's where we kind of saw that tapering off of gold and silver. And that makes sense with an extremely strong dollar. So the question here is within this range of the dollar, what happens next? Well, the Federal Reserve will probably get that answer. But what we could have is a situation where um, we, you know, let's say the dollar can swing back up to this um, short term resistance, you know, and then trade lower. OK, if this dollar rally happens, that's where we would see that flush out in gold and silver. That would probably um, take out some stops, like I said, in the gold mining stocks. You know, that would be a situation if we saw this dollar rally over the next week or so, or maybe even more, let's call it the next month or so, um, that could create the opportunity to start buying gold and silver. But right now, this is not something that I want to trade aggressively, at least until I see a little bit more price action in the dollar. I want to see, you know, silver break out or, um, you know, along with the gold mining stocks. And if that doesn't happen, then this is the scenario I'm looking for where we can see dollar strength. We see a flush out in gold, silver, and the mining stocks. That will create an opportunity to buy. Okay. I'm going to have more on this soon, um, especially in the next few months. Uh, but this is a, an important um, concept of understanding the ratio between gold and silver, understanding um, how it correlates with the dollar, and then the the scenarios and trade setups I'm looking for over the next uh, call a couple months. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week.